This week, I wanna show you a fun little plugin that's really easy to install and use. It's gonna allow you to add animation controlled by sound to any image or video asset on your stream, even your camera. So you know what? Let's get to it. Links are in the description to install this. It is really, really easy. So we're gonna go up here to the top right and click on the download. And we're going to select the Windows zip file. There's also a zip file for Mac OS and Linux. Once that file is downloaded, we're gonna go ahead into our downloads, right click on it and extract it. Then we'll go into our extracted folder and you're going to have a data and OBS plugins folder. Just select those and copy them. Then we need to go and find our OBS-Studio directory. More than likely, yours is going to be in C program files. And once you find that, you're going to actually see you have a data and an OBS plugins folder right in here. If you just right click on the OBS-Studio folder and paste, it will paste in the stuff that you just copied. And if you do not already have this installed, it won't give you any error messages. It will just copy it in there and you are good to go. So now we have a scale to sound installed properly. This next one I'm gonna show you is a really cool, fun trick. It's really easy to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load in a music file. So we're gonna click the plus. I'm gonna to go to media source and I'll just browse to a media source here. And it's just a song. And I'm gonna go ahead and loop that song and click OK. And you can see the music is playing right there. So all I have to do is I'm gonna take my video capture device, I'm gonna shrink it down here a little bit, put it right there. Then I'm gonna right click on my video capture device and you can do this with any source. It could be a picture or whatever you want. And we're gonna to go to filters. And we're gonna click the plus on effect filters and we're going to go to scale to sound. Click okay. Now all we have to do is select the audio source. In this case, it's media source. It's actually the audio that's playing our little song. We can add the audio threshold. So if we don't want it to play except for in really loud parts or whatever, we can add that in here or we can have it just so that's a higher threshold. You can move it down or up however you want it. I like it to kind of beat back and forth. So that's cool. Your audio ceiling, which will adjust what volumes it's gonna kinda of come on in. As you can see right there, we're gonna just leave that all the way up. We've got our minimum size, which we can shrink down like this. We'll get a lot more motion out of it. The maximum size, needless to say, we can shrink that down as well. So this controls how much movement you're actually going to get from it. And just to make this easier to visualize, let's go ahead and select this audio source. So you can see when I don't talk, it doesn't move. Now it's going totally off my voice. So if we adjust the minimum size up a little bit, we can just get a little bit of a kind of a bump. If we adjust it down, well, it kind of goes crazy. So this could be as annoying as you want it to be or as subtle as you want it to be. You can do inverse scaling. We can smooth it out so it's not quite as bumpy. It kind of slows it down a little bit. That way, if you turn down the minimum size, you kind of get a gradual thing. You can have it scale to width or height. So we can have it just so it's doing only the height. So it'll just go up and down for the height. Or we can have it so it'll only bump with the width like that. Pretty cool and you can have the positional alignment. So if you wanted it aligned to the left, there we go. So now it's gonna always bump from that side. It's pretty cool. There's so much that you can do with this. You can set it up to any video source or an image or any, any kind of visual source you can set it up to and any audio source you can easily set it up to. And there's so many cool little features and it's so easy to set up and it can just add just a little bit of motion to your live stream. You can make it really subtle or you can make it really bouncy and use it for any source that you want. I think it's kind of cool and a lot of fun to play around with.
So check it out. What an absolutely awesome plugin. This was an excerpt of this week's Stream on the Edge show. If you want to see the whole thing, you can check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.